Hundreds of volunteers have answered the call from Otago farmers to help rescue animals stranded in thick snow. Drifts of up to two metres deep have left stock stuck high on Otago sheep and cattle stations. Dave Gooslink reports on how help fought its way to around 40 farms across central Otago and the Maniototo. It's slow, gruelling, frustrating work. And snow raking's a new challenge for these volunteers, stomping out an exit track for sheep stranded in the snow high at Longland Station. Oh, it's hard yakking, mate. A couple yeah. of, was it three days now in this? Three it's days. Hard on your quads, no footy on the weekend, though. Helicoptered up into the mountains, workers begin the tough task of creating a narrow track in the waist-deep snow cutting and stomping out a channel for the sheep who haven't eaten in days. Well, as you can see, you can't, you can't get feed into here. We've got to mob them up first, get them out as low as we can to where they can be fed. A second team follow behind with sheep dogs, trying to usher the freezing animals down to clearer pastures. Farmers are grateful for the volunteer army. You know, guys have come from all over the show to help, so probably more fortunate than other people at the moment. But today we should have most of our sheep down, fed, so... In nearby Hyde, another crew is flat out heli baling, loading up scoop nets with bales of silage, which are dropped by helicopter to hungry mobs of sheep still stuck in remote snowy paddocks. Everyone thinks snow is a bit of a novelty, but tell you what, the novelty soon wears off when you're out here in these sort of conditions and you've got stock at danger, like that's, that's our livelihoods. People that have been here for 70 odd years have never seen it this bad. I think it's breaking records from 1908. The snow is starting to thaw in some places, but with the thick cover and short days, it'll be a while before the grass is truly green for these stock. And now Federated Farmers is calling on hardy snow raking volunteers further north as the focus shifts to helping out high country farmers in Canterbury. Dave Gooselink, 3 News.